Hey folks, Father Sampathik from CG Virus. Uh, this is a tutorial for preset development, how to make some presets. So this is actually, um, you know, a very creative process and uh, I have talked about many things and um, <coughs> as it's a creative process, it has some, uh, you know, self-talking things, uh, annoying things, disturbing things because I have to make some decisions. Uh, when I'm uh, developing the you know developing the elements so mm, uh, sorry for that and uh, welcome to this tutorial thank you hey folks I'm father son boutique from CG virus today we're going to show you how to create some optical flare preset in our uh, OFO plugin for VSE so first of all uh, you can see I have already uh, make one here and it will eventually become uh, very much rich uh, afterwards so let's see what it does create links clean links there we go so this is basically a very simple plugin uh, very simple preset here okay so yeah now select it and do the links so Mm, first of all what you need is basically uh, some kind of you know uh, reference image or something like you know uh, some arbitrary image um, I'm using this from optical flare for uh, you know uh, from video copilot uh, he has uh, uh, video copilot has done some uh, awesome jobs on this kind of presets so I'm just going to follow it you can see the anthrax one is actually done here you know we're not going to follow it exactly but uh, it just for some reference so I'm going to develop uh, something like an arctic circle here you can see there are some uh, root rings here some kind of a streak a root and some simple Irish material so we're going to make it all right um, you can also follow John Knoll actually he's the master uh, he's the master wizard of optical sphere in Hollywood he has uh, hmm, some uh, a plugin from red giant that is called null light factory you can use that um, those are very much natural uh, light preset you can um, you know uh, uh, you can see that and uh, make it as a reference also you can um, see some sci-fi movie uh, actually sci-fi movies or uh, uh, is implementing optical sphere a lot in today uh, in these days so um, you can follow those and uh, make them as your reference so first of all uh, the, the thing is you know you have to have some reference uh, you can also uh, make your arbitrary reference you can make your uh, you can go to GIMP and uh, you know uh, manipulate your like flares and uh, make some reference first and then we're going to start working on it so Today we're going to make this arctic circle so let's see how can we do that all right so first of all let's save it and now let's copy all shift D and let's transform it here there we go so let's forget about this one let's start with this one so first thing is basically select this and let's create the link okay this time we're not going to clean the links because we are going to use uh, all, all possible you know elements here so let's not clean the links right now okay so G and you can see that refresh the sequence uh, so it will be much more faster I think we have do the links yeah okay so here we go all right so let's save it mm, let's start working so we have our image here so we need some kind of root links and some kind of root so let's search for it in our um in our directory first all right let's see Alright, so I have decided that we are going to use something like Circle Grunge Blar 3, this one. 
also we're going to use streak 3 that is from uh, Saturn streak 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 3 yeah this guy not this guy streak 6 sorry yeah yeah this one is trick six and uh, there will be some um, hoop RGBs so we're going to use this and what else uh, I think there is nothing else so let's start working on it all right so um, let's create links again because sorry uh, because I stopped it so yeah so let's go there first of all we will need some core objects right so here is our core object so let's dive into it there is already a core so let's use this core just go to here yeah, in okay we had some curves so let's delete it and uh, let's go uh, this is a very creative process so I need to talk with myself sometimes it may seems weird don't mind so trick six there we go so yeah oh by the way I am using 25 percent proxy there we go let's see the image Uh, you can see it is kind of a bluish something so we're going to use some bluish tone here so let's use here bluish tone does it have an overall bluish tone let me see that yes it's a uh, something like an overall bluish okay not a problem not a problem so let's use color balance of curve curve then use blue uh, let's uh, down the green a little bit first there we go and then use blue to upwards so like that let's use the red down it a little bit here we go so something like a blue yeah that's good maybe we can top it up a little bit but I'm thinking about uh, overdoing it so let's do something like this okay that's it that will be okay hmm okay let's step you can see already pretty high density okay so what next we have some kind of uh, ring here so it can be done with root actually so you can merge it or you can top it up a little bit why it is like that I'm not sure oh there is something all right so we can use core object here because it should be driven by this so let's alt H and height and now let's go to yeah, change data file I'm going to use some kind of hoop this one uh, after going through this ring what I'm seeing that uh, it is uh, possible to make uh, some compositing in Photoshop game per Krita. so that will be much more effective because uh, we have a ring that is some kind of opacity that has some kind of opacity we also have some small streaks okay two streaks so yeah let's uh, let's go to Krita and uh, let's build it up there as a root as a whole root all right I'm coming back so before starting with Krita uh, I want to share something you can see the CPU uses it is increasing because of this you know unnecessary links so let's delete the links because we don't need that right now so it your system will be I know in line you can see that uh, if we go here we cannot do any links here so yeah let's get started with 
Krita. Um, yep. So this is our Krita. I have already the RGB hoop. You can see the dimension here. These are pretty much important files, you know. Let's use 720 to 720. So uh, most of the files are in 720 because we are using one is to one ratio. Um, I will try to develop it with uh, anamorphic. It is by default uh, <laughs> Blender VSC has some weird problem with transformation and image scaling. I don't know what that what does it mean and what is happening. But yeah, uh, <laughs> this is the reality. Uh, it is not meant to be <laughs> like that. So anyway, uh, anyway, so let's go to our streak. Streak six. We were using streak six, so let's use Krita. There we go. So we can now, you know, actually colorize it. So let's use Control U. Uh, I'm using Control U. Uh, by the way, there is key on going on, so you can monitor uh, my key strokes here. Yeah. So let's go to hue. Let's change the color a little bit. Let's use some kind of bluish, cool bluish tone here. Yeah, that is there. I like it. Yep, perfect. Let's use it. And uh, then we're going for the hoop. Control A, Control C, Cap A, and let's use Control V. Go to the norm mode. By the way, uh, but these are pretty much same, like you know, uh, addition. Um, this is pretty much same like uh, uh, simple Adobe Photoshop things I can use that here as well uh, so I'm going to scale uh, let's scale it uh, with chain let's just go down a little bit so something like that I think so yeah maybe let's see Krita has a very good thing that is uh, it doesn't need to rasterize your things here let's see <coughs> I mean you know the transformation is dynamic it doesn't uh, lose the resolution that is a good thing uh, okay so mm, yeah something, something like that something like that I think so uh, let's make it much more smaller Let's use scale down a little bit here. There we go. Something like that. Pretty good. Let's enter. Yeah. This one looks nice. Alright, let's opacity. Let's go to opacity. Let's blur it a little bit. I'm going to opacity. Carl has done really awesome job. I mean, you know, the author. Yeah. Uh let's be creative let's go with some blur filter blur simple Gaussian blur will help us a lot let's use let's use something like this yeah pretty good and now let's use unchain it I think uh, horizontal blur will be really good yeah, something like that. Yeah. That's a good start. Okay. Hmm. That is good. <coughs> really good. Let's see. I'm not going to uh, just go through that. I want to make it much more effective. So how can we do that? It's pretty much easy. Uh, let's copy this layer here sorry let's copy this layer control T as I said Krita has some awesome features you can use them so let's chain it up and let's scale it up a little bit something like I don't know uh, let's chain it up as 200 so it will be a double hoop that will be much more interesting I think yeah that's pretty cool let's oppo opposite let's opposite let's go down a little bit <coughs> sorry <coughs> control U let's change the hue 
can make many different kind of hues let's saturate it on this lightness uh, yeah sorry zero let's change it here yeah that is working okay these are arbitrary it <laughs> doesn't mean anything you know now use it as you want so i want to make it like that 36 that is good i think that is absolutely curious okay so what we can do now is basically we can increase uh i think we can increase uh the streak a little bit so let's go to scale chain it up and let's increase it like that okay that's cool there we go yeah it looks cool basically ah okay uh, we need two streaks two common streaks so so that it can be used okay let's use some streaks we have already let's use we have a cool streak called Callisto this is kind of an anamorphic streak which I like pretty well uh, there is also an anamorphic streak here I did once so <coughs> let's use this one there we go control A control C control V let's top it up okay control T shift control and so like that um, let's use somewhere here so like that let's use addition um I like it but is not that good anyway mm. hmm okay let's see and it has some core values here and things like that okay let's use filter blur caution and let's use not vertical but horizontal so like that okay we can use some color dodge profile here color dodge let's use color dodge where it is there you go Do you have any glow? FX glow at that is a, that is cool. I haven't used it in my entire life, so let's use it. Whoa. Okay. What does it do? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I think we are in black. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yep, that can be done okay let's use some kind of streaks press shift i know krita has a really good things i don't know it can do lots of things for you it's a pretty amazing uh addition we're gonna use divide it's your creative process use it with your own setup here so i'm just going to i'm just i don't know making some kind of adjustment with it um let me see what we have here okay so it's almost done let me 
let me zoom it a little bit um, let's go for some eraser 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 airbrush eraser erase circle erase hard erase soft let's use it as soft Krita is really great for this kind of setup. I highly recommend it because Krita is great. Krita has very cool looking uh, things for you. Okay, use them and you will love it. Some kind of anamorphic. There you go. Okay, we can use. Um, many things here so not only addition let's use this and let's see where we can go I don't know this is just like Photoshop hmm. increase lightness that is a good one so let's use that and also let's see what we can have increase value okay that is a good one increase lightness increase value increase luminosity so some kind of increase in yeah yep color touch oh awesome i like it yep i like it that's what i wanted let's use hue saturation here let's use colorize and let's use some kind of saturation so you can see how you can develop your assets right I'm just demonstrating it yep all right so after developing it a little bit uh, I have come up with this um, everything is actually same there is uh, nothing has been changed uh, just uh, I have just you know duplicate this guy uh, okay let me see let me show you how I have done it just select this layer copy it go here press v and then just you know, move it okay move it in your position so that's it so that's how i have done it and other things are pretty much same pretty much same there is no changes and that's it uh, i was you know making some garbage uh, talk i don't know what i was saying <laughs> So yeah, uh, this is a creative process, and uh, as always, it needs many much, many more discussions. So anyway, so that is it. So now let's save it. Control Shift S, and I'm going to save it as a PNG file. Dot PNG. Let's save it. Uh, yeah, that will be it. All right. So now let's get back to Blender, and uh, let's start working. Alright, so we are back in uh, Blender. So, uh, what we need to do now is basically create the links again. And now let's go here, go to the core objects. We don't need this core anymore, so plus height. We already have developed our core. Wait a second. Alright, so now let's go to file and change the <coughs> change the file here which was arctic circle whoa all right so <laughs> uh, we don't need any curves anymore here we go that's it okay so if i'm going to g yep perfect okay what else what else do we need i think we have some kind of uh, anamorphic streak here anamorphic okay let's use an anamorphic streak let's go there just like that oh uh, the anamorphic streaks are in anima streaks uh, no not this one we're going to use spreads so we already have a spread here we don't need two we just need one it has come from our previous uh, previous uh, what does it say previous reset this voltage hmm interesting okay let's go there 
so anamorphic uh, sprays that is the spread object spread object doesn't have any position with X so we can you know change it a little bit but I think that will be work because it is anamorphic it doesn't go with Y um, uh, go with X position actually so I have scaled it up a little bit so let's use this is that but I'm going to thin it up a little bit so like that yeah some kind of some things like that or what we can do is basically change um, let's see we can change the data file here we have lots of uh, streaks mm. sci-fi 4 Okay, that one is cool. Also have a streak. Ten. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it looks uh, it looks cool. Okay, let's see. Hmm. What I can do is basically let's avoid it. Let's let's not use it. Let's avoid it. Let's go to core, <coughs> or you can go to core extra. Core extra has some gigantic things going on, so we can use that. Press H. Okay, press H and press Alt H. So it has already, um, yeah. It has already some caustics, alright. So these are caustics. It works really well with gigantic formation. So that you can use that. Okay. So let's use that core extra, and uh, let's use something interesting here. So let's change data file. Let's use some horizontal core, but not too much gathering at all means then you sci-fi yeah that would work pretty nicely there we go yeah that is cool okay so that's it that's it okay perfect all right so now we're going to use our this guy so we need two Irish, all right. Two Irish. Uh, one is something like you know, something like three. All right. So let's use that. So here you will see that there are basically two types of, actually three types of Irish setup. Actually four types. One is strix primary. Second one is strix secondary. These two are used by multi ID setup, you know, you know, something like this, 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 this Irish, some spheric walls. So, these are those, you know, very much uh, processing uh, power is needed for these guys. There is also another one that is called sprites, all right. What sprites do, they use the strix parameters and uh, strix mathematics to make individual specific individual you know Irish setup all right it is not like rays uh, let me see if we can have some um, these are not actually anyone doesn't have Irish here let me see if we have any multi -iris. yeah this guy has multi iris okay so this is called multi iris setup all right and these are basically some uh, separate sprites where we were yeah these are basically separate sprites so we're going to use the sprite also we have an anamistrix anamistrix is you know uh, anamorphic strix they don't go to the vector direction you know to the light they goes just like uh, you know with the strix strix like uh, if we see this guy okay digital screen it has some streaks with its anamorphic stick 
so that is the thing all right <laughs> these are very much confusing things i will provide some presets uh, so you can <laughs> see them later all right um <laughs> now let's go it it took me a while okay let's uh go with uh, sprites press alt h i've already given two sprites so let's see what they are doing here yeah so these are our sprites all right uh, before everything else let's uh, go there create links there we go okay now let's go to sprites and let's just start working if you want to see what is actually happening you can here you can see what is actually good. all right so we're going to use two kind of sprites one is overlapping with this guy uh, the last one here and uh, we're going for something like in a middle something like you know like six or uh, seven let's do seven so I'm going to alt each let's go there and let's use some lens flare elements here we're going to use some kind of blurry set up here very blurry so let's use this there we go so these are mainly the thing here okay pretty good jolly good so let's um go for some colorization let's use this um, add a strip modifier we are going to use carves we're going to give it a uh, something like a bluish tone for the middle one so let's use that some kind of bluish and let's use some cyan green here we go yeah that will work okay for the last two strips this guy if I'm going to hide it you can see that we're going to use some kind of um, let me see some kind of you know it has some rainbowish thing here so uh, we can manipulate it in Krita uh, but for now on let's see if we can make it here add a strip this is curve we're going to use some kind of uh, this is reddish here some simple reddish color with some bluish tone so it will be some kind of purple and for this guy we're going to use curves we're going to use some kind of greenish type of thing yeah, yeah so like you know super green with some kind of blue so it will create some rainbow let's use some R let's use something like that okay that will be like this that's good not a problem let's use like this bluish we are going to use overall bluish actually so not a problem hmm. you can also create some rainbow effect here uh, with the help of Krita we don't have uh, unfortunately we don't have that types of fancy here so let's use it here okay that is pretty good and now let's see yeah that'll work but what we need to do let's go to the sprite and let's use some opacity here I'm going to turn it down a little bit here. I know. Just to make it valid. Let's not use full. Let's use something like you know 0.5 something. So that it works well. Yeah. Alright, so we are in Krita with circle grunge blah. <coughs> so what we are going to do now is basically duplicate uh, this layer three times okay 
so the first one uh, will be a tint of uh, let me let me go that the first one should be control u and let's use some colorize I'm going to lightness I'm going to hue and I'm going to saturation okay now I can see that uh, let's use lightness of zero zero yeah so the saturation is full I don't need that I just need some kind of saturation something like you know something like uh, 30 saturation with a pure red let's use red first uh, something like that yeah okay let's go to 100 no problem 100 don't convert the lightness just go with 100 okay number one is done now let's go to you let's go to colorize uh, saturation 100 and now I'm going for green and uh, no, sober green not too much uh, uh, let's use 150 uh, okay <coughs> uh, I forgot about it let's copy this guy and let's down it a little bit and this one should be a blue so RGB okay let's go 100 I mean 100 and let's use some kind of blue yeah blue is dominant so let's use 215 okay so now what we are going to do is basically turn on and turn them on and I'm going to make it um, you can use screen do we have a screen or you can use multiply up to you lighten color dodge screen yeah in lighten section I'm going to screen and then I'm going for again uh, screen and I'm going for screen so now what I'm going to do is basically press V and let's shift it a little bit here press V and shift it a little bit here or vice versa you can you can make your own custom one if you want to uh, what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to the original one I'm going to top it up and also I'm going to multiply will work okay so now we have V to make the rainbow much more elegant let's see so like this you can make it much more interesting if you want to use uh, some hue and saturation values here I think you can manipulate um, red channel to give it some kind of uh, you know some some kind of bluish tone here. I have told you that light synthesizing is a very interesting topic if you can read about it do it okay. something like this will work I think situation yeah. okay and we have the green so what we can do is keep this free much more elegant here. So like that. Yeah. So this is some kind of our rainbow setup. Press Ctrl Shift S and I'm going to save it and I'm come back. Alright, so we're back in our previous state. Let's create the links again and let's now let's go to the sprites object here and you can see those elements 
let's give it the same same one we had before so this is our circle branch hmm. I'm going to turn in the green here red and I'm going to make it like this okay and then we have some curves let's contrast it a little bit I know so that it looks good yeah. <coughs> I think that's it it doesn't need anything else okay let's back it up mm, we have some opacity issues here so let's drop it up again and there we go so that's all you can create your own preset so later what I have decided that I, I need some glow okay without glow optical sphere is seems like you know nothing so what I have done is basically pretty simple uh, I went to our core extra object tap and there is our glow uh, it was our streak that was the streak yeah and this is our glow the previous one okay I have unhide it and uh, I have given it uh, RGB value to make it tint it's actually a white so I have made it you know blue and that's it that's that's the whole thing okay so that's the whole thing and uh, now I think it's uh, working pretty fine yeah yeah I think it looks cool yeah <coughs>